Last October, I entered the RuneScape League with a top secret mission. This mission required me to spend the next 70 days hunting rare RuneScape items. If I fail to complete just one tile, I lose the entire challenge and all my time is wasted. Last episode, we acquired our eighth tile, the Inferno Cave. That's it! Woo! Let's go. Dude, I tanked the Zuck hit, but still. 17 tiles remain, and all of these depend on luck, except for one, the Max Cape. A cape that is only obtainable by reaching level 99 in every skill. Normally, this cape takes hundreds of hours to acquire, but since the League has accelerated experience rates, the Max Cape is achievable in a much shorter time period. However, that doesn't mean it's an easy thing to get. Since there's no trading on the League, all resources must be collected by me if I want to trade my skills. Also, you guys know me. I'm not a skiller. This is how I got the max cape in 44 days on the league. Enjoy. The moment I've been waiting for a, a solid week for. I gotta stretch the hands for this, man. I'm nervous. If I f up, man, that's not gonna be good. I'll be pretty mad. We have 167 quest points. This has to be the 100. There's no possible way that it isn't. Go, go, go. Oh shit, I missed some ticks there. Oh, the gods. The gods. Hey, gaming. We got it, boys. We got it. I was worried. Oh, yes. No more fairy ring. Let's use this on rune crafting. Then uh, let's do a little bit more rune crafting here. And now 94 rune crafting without trading the skill. That is number seven. Maybe this infernal cape will bring us some luck. Let's hope. Trust. Spine, spine, spine. That's my second head from the sire. And I have a third one in my bank from regular ones, bro. I have three f***ing heads. Three daggers, one jar, two heads. Only at Armadale and Sire would I go dry like this. Now, by this point, I was starting to get a little burnt out on bossing in general especially after the sire grind. I didn't record too much of this because I've just been chopping these mushrooms and now I have 99 woodcutting. Also, take a look at all the fossils I've collected so far from wyverns and woodcutting. It's quite a lot. We're gonna use these on prayer a bit later. All right, <laughs> I figured out how to work this thing. Let's go use these. Wow, 8,000 for a small one? What do the big ones give me? All right, these are the best ones. These are the highest tier. 40,000 experience each. Let's fucking go, boys. Using the rest of my fossils, I got 96 prayer. The best way for me to get 99 is to bank these bones from wyverns. So I'll be doing a little bit of that here and there as I hunt for the visage. Look at how much ore I have banked. Jesus Christ. This is all from bossing. I have yet to mine a single ore. After using the rest of my coal, I ended up with this many bars. It's more efficient to make lower tier bars with your coal, but I opted for adamant and runite because I'll be needing a ton of money for fletching. I banked all of these supplies for herb lore just from the theater of blood. So this 99 took barely any time at all yes my my spirit tree it's done man it's done how much is it gonna give me 300k are oh, we getting off the coast of 99 just from one run i think i gained almost two mil okay i have a bunch of stuff to elk we should get a lot of money i haven't calculated it out but it should be a lot i prematurely hit the 250 Task. I thought it was at a single course, but it's actually um, it's at any rooftop course. Now I'm here and there is 25 mil magic XP. We are done with the combat. Of course, we still have prayer, but everything else has been maxed out over the 25 mil threshold. I don't know if this will be the task here. Yep, it was the task. 200k. That's less than I expected. Another 200k, 80k. Wait, so it's only like 500k XP an hour. So 660k an hour. That's pretty bad. Already was like 80k and Sepulchre is going to be more than that too. So since you can't elk on the monkey land course, uh, I'm going to have to elk here because I'm not doing any other agility tasks besides the uh, monkey land. So I'm going to be elking while we do herbivore. And then once I go through all these elks, this is, I check my bank. This is pretty much all of it besides like my unique item dupes. Uh, I'm, not, I'm actually not going to go into the unique item dupes unless I like absolutely positively need to use them. That way I can save them and drop them at the end. Yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing till 99 Hunter. I'll see you in a bit. Herbivore number 304 for 99 Hunter. So because I have to do the Apatol course, there's not a lot of chances to do these arrowheads, but I guess I'll just finish these out. There's not really anything else I could think of besides maybe clue scrolls. And there is 98 fletching giving us a total level of 2200 and we're one level from 99 and hunter XP is at 16 mil and I'm currently 382 
harvest count. So just a little bit over 120. Okay, that's going to be number 402 herbivores. I've moved on to broad bolts. I also have, uh, I'm pretty close to 99 fletching, but we'll, we're going to keep going. Yep, we're here until 500, less than 100 left. So I've done some calculations. In order to get 25 mil fletching, I'm going to need to do 240,000 broad bolts. It was nice having this cash dug, but I think it's going to be gone after this. 250,000 broad bolts. This should be enough for 25 mil fletching. All right, and that is 250,000 feathers bought. Time to use these up and get 500 herbivores, and then we are uh, out of here. Moving on to agility. Oh my lord, I forgot I was so close. <laughs> Oh, there's 99 fletch. I totally forgot about that. That's funny. And I've been at this for like nearly six hours. Look at that. Almost a six hour log. I feel like a nerd. I've just been binging shows while I do this though. So, you know, no problem there. Oh, we're almost done. 12 more to go. And here we go. The last herbivore of 500. Oh, I've never been so happy to get this. Uh, I'm not much of a hunter myself. We're not quite finished with hunter. I still need about 4 mil XP. I'm going to use the rest of these fossils here. And we're going to get some prayer levels. To get 99 prayer, I'm just going to make a limestone altar. This is actually the best altar I can make. There we go, 98 prayer. And we just got to task for getting 126 combat that's sick one more level to go we are here at the apatol course i'm gonna be doing quite a few laps here and in the meantime of course i'll be fletching i needed a break so i went to afk some crafting and here we go 99 crafting i only have seven skills left for 99 well max game duh i don't skill didn't even notice but i got 100 laps so let's go ahead and transform our little monkey and that is 50 points okay so in order to get 99 fire making i need to get a lot of u logs and the best way i'm going to do that is by killing this mole there he is get him <laughs> oh my god that was fast <gasps> i got the baby mole pet I got the baby mole pet, dude. Yes. That's so sick and it counts as a bossing pet, man. Holy. You know, I was actually debating on not even killing this boss. Oh my God. We got the mole pet. Look at him, man. He did, he did a little mole. There's 97 fire making. Been going strong. Only 254 willow logs left. I'm not sure if I want to use some of my teak logs. I'll have to wood cut some more either way. I might just use them. And there is 400 laps. Oh. About 100k arrows left to Fletch. That's not bad. Chilling out listening to some books. So we'll, we'll get through this. Uh, a few hours later. Well, several hours later. And there's 500 laps. And I can transform my little dude. Oh, he's a little, he's a little robot. Little robot monkey. I think I'm done with the Apatol agility course. Now I've done Hallowed Sepulchre like once. I think. I don't know how to really do this uh, content since it came out. But I'm going to give it a go. All right, so we've made it to the next floor. Floor number two. Oh my god. Wait, how? Oh, I don't know if I can make it. Yes. Oh, I think this is where I used the uh, vampire dust there. All right, timer's pause. Now we're on to the third floor. I know there's stuff to loot in here, but I'm not exactly sure where it is. Come on. Yes. It's like the matrix here. I don't know if I'm going to make that. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, I was too slow on that too. I walked straight into that. Oh, it's so hard. I was late. I was I was late by one tick. How did I even get hit by that? I'm late. I'm tick perfect. Okay. We missed our timer. I guess our timer didn't work. Got past floor three. No. And there's 99 prayer. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen, but I really wanted to loot this floor four as well. Uh, and we're out of time, but we made it to the fifth floor. I think this is our best run so far. We'll, we'll keep trying. Yes, I made it. Yeah. Finally, dude. I've been here. I feel, I feel like I've been on this obstacle right here for like 30 minutes. That's fun though. 93k. Wow. And that's a 250 point task right there as well. Okay. I think I can do that. It'll take some practice, but it's doable. All right. There's another completion. It didn't take me near as long as the first time. So. Ah, I'm still having trouble with this last obstacle right here. It's pretty tough. I think I'm just gonna keep skipping the chest and get loads of XP. Three minutes on the bottom floor. Usually I have what, one minute, so let's uh let's try our best here. No! No, damn it. Rushing too much here. We need to focus. Focus. Plenty of time. Of course. 
course. I L moved and it fucked it up. There we go. I fucked up. We got one minute left. It's still possible. Ah, so close, man. Yeah, it's 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 not gonna happen. Dang it. You know, after that last course, I was thinking to myself, you know what? What would make me better at agility? So I decided to go mine some rocks. Okay, so I've tried pretty much every mining method and I'm getting better rates just by banking the iron ore here in the mining guild. I might just try dropping it. I'm kind of low on ores as well for smithing, so it might be worth banking it. I'm not really sure. I'm going to test it out. There we go. 97 mining. God, God, God. 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 Yes? Oh wait, that's me. Make sure you like the video. Been here for like a couple hours now and it is just very boring. Two levels away. We just gotta finish this. We'll go back to agility. I think that's all we can get done today. After that, we have two skills left. All right, I got this clue geode. Nothing new, just some rune. There is 98. Uh, one more and we're out of the rock prison. Here's the last one. There... It is 99 mining. We're done with mining. Oh, I'm so glad it's over. Let's uh, let's move on. Let's finish up agility. Yes, finally. Yes, I could have gone for the other one too. Holy shit, I finally made it. The last chest. Let's go. The first grand coffin. No ring, but oh man, that feels good. Do we get a challenge for this? We don't, but I got a PB for the overall. Hell yeah. Hey, and there's 98 agility. All right, I've gained enough marks to buy a hallowed sepulcher item. That's gonna be a 100 points. Bad run. If I didn't miss some stuff in the beginning, <laughs> Just being an idiot, I could have made that chest easy, easy. I think that's gonna be 99 agility. We just need smithing, rune crafting, and construction, and we are done with the max grind. The reason I'm getting U logs is because I need to use the hot air balloon transport. That's actually my best way to get the sawmill planks so we can do construction. I don't have the master scroll book. If I had that, I would have unlimited teleports and there's a teleport directly to the sawmill. Ooh, wait a sec. Um, I just got 99 fire making. Oh fuck, I forgot. I didn't realize this gave you XP. Oh no, I was gonna save that for 99, but I guess now we've, we've messed it up. This is gonna be my life for the next, uh, Probably, uh, I, I honestly don't know how long it's gonna take to make all of these logs into planks. I'm not looking forward to it. Looks like I'm gonna be making about 2,000 planks an hour. I currently have 1,200 mahoganies to make and 6,400 teaks. I'm not sure if I'll need any more, but I have some uh, some oak logs banked somewhere. Yeah, right here. I haven't run any calculations, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna cross our fingers here. <laughs> all right, this should be the last load of planks that we need 5291 as well as 1774 mahogany planks let's go uh, hire a butler and start doing construction we're gonna blow through these uh, mahogany planks and then after that we'll move on to the teaks right now we are 79 construction so we're gonna get a lot of milestones as well i want to test how much construction xp i get with these mahogany tables i'm guessing it's gonna be quite a bit so i'm not even really doing this that efficiently 13 mil xp an hour if i had enough of these we could get Get 99 within one hour that's um that's ridiculous there is 90 construction and base 90 stats it's literally been like 20 minutes yeah i don't know why i'm even bothering with an update here and now we make teak garden benches for a whopping 8k all right there we go 99 construction finally i say finally but really i, I did 99 construction in a day so didn't take that long. All we have left is rune crafting and some smithing levels and we're done. Supposedly, earth runes are the fastest method using the dig site amulet. And there's 95 rune crafting, only four levels to go. Uh, it's a little bit over four mil XP, 4.2. I'm glad I put most of my XP into rune crafting, honestly. This is, this is definitely gonna be the worst skill by far. So I thought to actually test out the ZMI. I can't believe I forgot about this place, but this is actually slightly faster than earth runes. Finally, 99 rune crafting, the most uh, annoying thing on this account, probably. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. I'm so happy to be done with this skill. We have one skill left. It is smithing. We're gonna get those ores from PVMing because I can't be asked to mine them. I have 20,000 blood runes, 
for whenever we get a saying staff slash a scythe. Of course, I can buy some from the Wizards Guild, but that'll just be super nice just to have a uh, stockpile. That's 7,000 charges. So I'm going to need a lot of coal. The Abyssal Sire has a pretty decent drop rate for coal. And luckily for us, one of our bingo tiles is the Abyssal Bludgeon. This item works a little bit differently compared to other bosses. First, you must get an Unsired which is a 1 in 33 drop on the league. When you use this on the pool, you then have a 1 in 2 chance of getting a bludgeon piece. Get all three pieces, and you have yourself an abyssal bludgeon. Now, I've already gotten 7 unsired in the league so far, and I only have one bludgeon piece. Surely, it shouldn't take us that much longer, right? All right. Number eight, will this be the next bludgeon piece or will it be a dagger? It'll most likely be a dagger and I'll just have to keep killing the sire. <sighs> I may as well not even get excited. It's a whip, yep, yep, yep. It's okay, I already have 15 of them, it's perfectly fine. Yes, another one. <laughs> another shot at destiny. Number nine, unsired. It's... <sighs> I should have like four bludgeon pieces by now, but I actually have four daggers instead. And there is the 250 task. Yippee. Yeah, it's just 250 sire kills and we're still here. All right, I'm taking a break from sire just because I'm just a little depressed, but <laughs> we are currently using up the coal that we got. We got about like a, a thousand or so. I just remembered I have some points saved up uh, over at Petrified Pete, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for this portal soil spell. I think it's only like 100 points league-wise, and maybe it's a mistake to do this, but 200 coal right there. We're gonna go to Gargoyles. It's actually the best place to get coal, uh, I think, besides like TOB maybe. I swear to God, every time I do this boss, I always get a granite ring. It, it never fails. But shortly after, I was invited to take part in a special challenge. For this challenge, I would need to stack up a bunch of clue scrolls, which is good because I still needed the master scroll book. Now, the best way to get clue scrolls in the league is to farm superior slayer monsters. Now, a lot of people hate on the jeweler perk, but I gotta say it was very helpful for farming these. I only need uh, five elite clues. So I'm actually, I'm actually gonna open one of these. Oh my God, the master clue, I thought. Uh... I was bamboozled by the master clue. I said master scroll book when I opened that. I have in my inventory oh, another elite casket. Is that real? There's no way that's a real clue. Okay, we have achieved our caskets for tomorrow. I'm really excited. Well, for now, let's get back to our normal grinds. Nice, 400 coal. You love to see it. Okay, hey, whatever, however much coal we get from this, this is uh, why we're doing this boss for smithing. Number 300, hip hip hooray. Yeah, we're over drop rate a little bit on the unsired, so not really ex expecting anything for a little while. Well, my hopes are non-existent. <sighs> visualize it. Just gotta visualize it at 3 a.m. I'm closing my eyes and visualizing it. Spine, Spine in my inventory. In my inventory. Fuck. This is, this is worse than Armadale, by far. At this point, it was extremely late and I was dead inside, but I pulled another Unsired right before the system update. <gasps> bludgeon, bludgeon piece, finally. Finally, dude, yes. Oh, I'm so happy about that. One more piece to go. The next day, it was time for the clue scroll challenge, which I mentioned earlier. Now, Trails already made a video on this, so if you'd like to watch the challenge, go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Good luck, Come boys. <laughs> there it is. Spin for the win. Damn. Yes. I don't have full prayer right now. Back in this guy. Or girl. It's, it's still above 70 from before. I'm not going to say anything, but she healed like 23%. Yeah. <laughs> and sadly, even though I opened a bunch of caskets, I did not get the master scroll book. For now, it was time to get back to the sire. Number 400. Yes. Yes, finally. Another chance to leave the prison. Oh my god, that's it. We're done. We're done. Oh my god. It finally happened. I, I just can't believe this. After a painful 30 hours at this boss without agents, I now had the second best crush weapon in the game. Not to mention some extra coal for Smithy. All 
right, guys, this is it. This is the final total level that we need to max on the lead. All right, no more iron play bodies. I'm so done with these, man. Let's go get our max cave. And just like that, I completed the max cape on the 44th day of the league, marking off my 10th bingo tile. And after all that skilling, it was finally time to get back to bossing. 